Dan Pinto, and I'm a fourth year student at The Ohio State University studying evolution, ecology, and organismal biology. We're here in Panama at the Stry Education Center in Gamboa, and I'm here to talk to you about some of the research that me and my group members just recently finished. So while walking around the various trails and roads in Panama, we noticed a plant called Mimosa pudica. What's very interesting about this plant is that when stimulated by an outside force such as being brushed against or a gust of wind, the plant will close up in order to protect itself from any predators or anything else that could damage it. So what me and my group members uh, thought, we thought that maybe plants closer to the roads that had heavy automotive traffic might be less sensitive to the stimuli uh, after being overexposed to it so much compared to plants that were farther away from the road. So what we did, we went out and we compared the uh, sensitivity of these plants by measuring the number of leaves that closed and the time it took for them to reopen. Um, after testing our various uh, variables, we found that plants that were closer to the road were, were less sensitive than plants that were farther. Um, now this is important because this can be applied to other plants that generally show uh, a defensive mechanism when dealing with um, movement in order to protect themselves and could potentially be used to show the impacts that humans have on plants of this nature. There you go.